In this series of videos, we're going to look at the Python code for the pseudocode that we're learning in Lesson 2. So I'm going to start by creating a new project, and I'll just call it Lesson 2, and create. Um, notice under interpreter, it should say Python 34. If you're running uh, on a Mac or Linux and haven't installed the latest version of Python, you might see Python 20 some odd, like 26 or what have you. Um, if you see that, go ahead and click that little drop down and select Python 34 from the list. And if you don't see Python 34 in the list, you're going to have to download the latest version of Python from python.org and install that. So let me go ahead and create a project. And I'm going to resize to fit my window. And I'm going to start by right clicking on the Lesson 2 folder and creating a new Python file. And I'll call that Lesson2.py. And so I'm going to start in this first video with the output statement. So in pseudocode, you might see a statement like display hello world. Now in Python, this number sign is a comment character. So anything that follows the number sign is considered a comment to the code. And that's how we're going to be writing our pseudocode this term. So the corresponding Python code for that looks like this. Print hello world. And when I run this program, in the console, it shows hello world. Now, I can also print some other things. I can print a number, like 3. And I can also print a value like false. Now, sometimes you want to print more than just a single value. So, for example, I might want to print hello, Mark, welcome to Python. And I'm going to get rid of this. So the pseudocode for this would be display hello mark welcome to Python. And when I run it, it prints out each element in the list above separated by a single space. Now if I don't want spaces between here, I can change the separator by adding a line sep equals whatever string I want to use to separate it. So if I don't want anything there, I can put double quote, double quote. And each element is right up against the next one. Or if I wanted to use commas, I could use comma as a separator, or comma space, or dashes, or whatever I want. Now, if I write a, a program like this, you'll see that each print statement appears on a separate line. And if I just put print with nothing inside, and then now I have a blank line between hello world and another thing. Sometimes this isn't what you want. Sometimes you want the thing that you print to be on the same line as the thing it comes after. So to do that, you can set end equals whatever character you want at the end of the print statement. So hello followed by nothing, hello world. If I change the end to a space, then I get hello space from the print statement and world followed by a new line for the second print statement. 
I can do the same thing here. And now I have hello world. This empty print statement breaks the line. And then another thing comes out here. Now another thing you can do in your Python is create variables. So for example, in the pseudocode set x equal 3, display x, I would write that in Python as x equals 3, print x. So I get the output 3. Get rid of this. And you'll notice that's different than print double quote x. So the first one is printing the value of x. When you put x here without any double quotes around it, it prints the value of x. But if you print double quote x double quote, it prints the literal piece of text x. So this is called a string. You can also mix strings and variable values. So for example, if I had a program like declare string name equals mark and then display Welcome to Python. I can write that in Python code as name equal mark print hello name welcome to Python. And I get hello mark welcome to Python. 